Jesse, check this out. And three, two, one, pop. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too if you... Pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? Temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, let's get some treasure. Treasure! for treasure this cupboard is bare come on you know how these places work the treasure's never just out in the open let's fan out and search the place Petra, this place is cool. Knew you'd find it. So, how are you feeling lately? Wither sickness free, I think. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice though. So how do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Any thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to solve this. No, it's not. Never mind. Olivia. Yeah? Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. What kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers. 
But some cocoa beans would be cool, too. So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time, and I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. again. Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. So, what kind of loot you think we're going to find in here? Oh man, well, I want to make a room with an emerald floor, right? Who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough or smart enough or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. somewhere. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. 
Hey, I wasn't scared. <sighs> yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We've packed a lot in since then. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, I mean, that was before we'd fought Wither Storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. talking about whoa that's super cool i've never seen flint and steel like that before that glow is it some sort of enchantment i don't know i've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before but that's not unbreaking you could give it a shot and find out okay flint and steel do your thing seen a flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Olivia! Wrap the redstone Nearly there. Okay, activate it now. Good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. Whoa, you so gotta teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular.
spiders. The only way out of here is through them. So get ready. Get you out of here. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. Okay, what should I burn first? The grass. No, that stump. Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you, Ocelot, doing here anyway? The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Huh. Pretty cool name. Of course it is. And I don't give a crap about what you think. Hey, where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mmm... No. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero, which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Place rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rods! Ooh. I told you to shut up! 
Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, they scared Easy, didn't they? Not easy enough for my taste. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous. Isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep! <laughs> New Order of the Stone is back in town! Ah! There they are! Ooh, I like Olivia's armor the best. Oh wait, no, 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 Axel! Look at what you've done with this place! It looks freaking awesome! Ah! What have you done? Welcome back! Hurt a little bit. Wow. That wasn't a happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Wow, that is one epic build. With the lava? Yeah, yeah, and the skull motif? Awesome! awesome. I will never understand your taste. Not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse! You're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you! It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! Man, Ivor, this is really cool! Well, thank you, Jesse! So good to finally see someone with some vision! Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Ivor, I like building as much as the next person. But there have to be rules. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house, and we need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! 
Thanks, Jesse. That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha uh ha. -huh. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something at that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes, great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we bake it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. This place is really shaping up. Whoa! Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's been ages. Where were you? Oh, you know, just helping to rebuild and stuff. Witherstorm left a big mess out there. Yeah, a lot of homes got wrecked. That's really good of you to help out like that. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute, I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning, I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Uh-huh, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous. Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to- You found it! No! Whoa! Dude! What is wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this! Okay, Spill. What's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. So? What's the flint and steel do then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, 
That means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. Did you just make that up? No, I found books, mysterious tomes referencing it on my travels. Mysterious tomes, huh? The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Okay, so this flint and steel might have this old builder enchantment. But how do you know that's where this Eversource thing is? I've traveled near and far, Jesse. And that temple, that flint and steel, is the only firm proof that I've ever seen of the old builders. That does seem like a pretty good bet. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He <sighs> just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old, so exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Hey, let's not get all enamored with the architecture now. We've got a treasure to find. Wow. It looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Eh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. You look excited, Ivor. Excited? I'm ecstatic. Thrilled! Overjoyed! The Eversource could finally be within my grasp! Once, sir. Uh, once we find it, that is. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah. It's amazing. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Huh. Doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore.
wasn't there last night. Barely got out of there last night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. So they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! What is Jesse doing up there? Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. You think it's safe? <laughs> I didn't come on this adventure for safe. Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. That thing is way bigger and more powerful than you could understand, Aiden. Give it back! Says the person who just got knocked trying to light it. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. We've got to follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. We're going after Aiden, and we're going to take him down. For my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, there's nothing but sky down there. It's all just empty sky. I've traveled all over our world, to nearly every corner. And there has always been land or water beneath me. You could just fall forever. 
and ever and ever. where it must be the Eversource. a city in the clouds it almost sounds impossible i just don't know how we're gonna reach it yeah that's definitely gonna be a problem can't we just like build our way over uh how oh please you've heard of a bridge haven't you i don't know seems like a long way do we have enough blocks i mean it's really really far yes very Astute, Lucas. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Pushing. I'm pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang. I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off! Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. Your building! I... you... I, I... I don't... Hey, yeah! We're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh... uh you don't know? Y you, you... you... you were building! A unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense! Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh, this is making me terribly nervous, but, uh, first those other outsiders, now you! Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, wait, wait! I'm Come just back. busy, sorry! And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. 